everybody. Mr. Marathon and our Out and About Town series takes us over to Keys Fisheries where you can see all the crawfish traps that are behind us. And we're with Sue Redding with the Coast Guard Auxiliary here in Marathon. And Uncle Eddie Cordova is also here with us. Thank Uncle Eddie, Mike. thanks Thank for being here. Yeah. And they have a phenomenal program in order to recycle the plastic lids coming off the crawfish traps. Sue, tell us about your program. Um, this is something that the, the Coast Guard Auxiliary here in Marathon just developed, and these are called lobster funnels. In other words, these go in the trap, and when, these, uh, when the trap's lines get cut by engines, then the traps sit down there and the wood erodes, but these things will never disintegrate. So what we do is we collect these and we find them along the shoreline, we find them down the ocean bottom, and they can all be recycled and be rebuilt in the lobster traps. So we call it our, our lobster funnel recycle program that we started here in Marathon um, with our flotilla. Well this is just, uh, it, it's very exciting. How did, how did we come up with the idea, if I may ask? What, uh, what brought this about? I was plane boarding uh, under the water and I saw some of them last May. Okay. And then I called Eddie up and I said, Eddie, I've got these here, I mean, can you reuse them? And we have a trash game we use also in the school systems uh, with the auxiliary and it shows how different pieces of trash disintegrate and this would be something that won't disintegrate in our lifetime, <laughs> For sure. whereas a piece of paper will disintegrate maybe within 30 days. So. Um, these can all be recycled and uh, usable, and the fishermen are happy, and we're combating marine, marine pollution at the same time, so it's a win-win situation. Well, that's, that's a, just a, you know, a super idea, and Uncle Eddie, I know that uh, you're gonna show us in your shed over there how we put these things to, to good use by right. recycling them and putting them back into traps again. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, everybody, we're gonna take a walk out over here. You're gonna have to see this. This is really exciting. <laughs> Come on, let's go take a look. Everybody, I hope that you've enjoyed watching Uncle Eddie put the crawfish trap together from start to finish. And again, watching us how we put the funnel into the trap and we are recycling these funnels that are brought in by the Coast Guard Auxiliary and we're watching them be put to reuse. So not only does the commercial fishing industry survive and do very well, the Coast Guard is out there assisting us and the environment wins, without a doubt. This is nothing but huge and we're looking forward to more things, picking up rope, picking up buoys whatever it might be, so they can recycle all of these things that just don't get rid of themselves in the water, whether it be the plastic, whether it be the rope. It just doesn't go anywhere but float and cause the environment trouble. Uncle Eddie, thank you very much, my thank friend, you, for showing us how to do everything. This was great. Sue, thank you very much, and thank you for everything that the Thanks, Coast Guard Mike. is doing and the Thanks Coast Guard Auxiliary. Thanks for the exposure to help uh, combat marine pollution. Well, it's great, and everybody, until next time, let's keep that environment clean and safe out there.